Wow, and what a weekend it was. Very exciting uh, in the sports arenas. And now joining us with all of the sports news and notes is Sunny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Vincent, and sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Let's kick off with African football, and here's a sunny side of sports salute for Tanzania's national football team. Tanzania defeated Ivory Coast 1-0 on Sunday to lift the trophy at the Sakafa Tusker Senior Challenge Cup Tournament. Playing in front of a big crowd at home in the capital, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania celebrated its first Sakafa championship in 16 years. The Sakafa tournament is for teams in East and Central Africa. Ivory Coast received a special invitation to this year's tournament as a guest team. Elsewhere in African soccer, the African Football Confederation, CAF, has announced the three finalists for its 2010 Player of the Year Award, which will be announced on December 20th in Cairo, Egypt. Topping the list, Didier Drogba of Chelsea and Ivory Coast. He's a two-time winner of the award. Another finalist, Samuel Eto of Inter Milan and Cameroon. And the third, Asamoah John. We see him celebrating there of Sunderland and Ghana. John, arguably the big African star at this year's World Cup in South Africa. He led Ghana to the quarterfinals and had a team high three goals. Turning to African athletics, Kenyan star Paul Turgat is lucky to be alive after surviving a scary car crash on the Eldoret Nakuru Highway. Turgat says he was driving his Mercedes Benz on the highway when he tried to pass a truck. He collided with another truck coming from the opposite direction. Speaking from his hospital bed, Turgat had this to say. I'm okay. Um, it's uh, it's good safe hands and uh, everything's okay. It was a very bad accident, but I've come out of it. I thank God for that. Paul Turgat is one of the greatest distance runners of all time. He is the former world record holder at the marathon distance, as well as a five-time world cross-country champion. Finally, in African boxing, here's another sunny side of sports salute for Ghana's Joseph King Kong Agbeko. Got to love that nickname, King Kong. He reclaimed the International Boxing Federation Bantamweight title over the weekend by scoring a unanimous decision over Colombia's Yanni Perez. Perez had defeated Agbeko earlier. He got some revenge, reclaimed the IBF belt. I'm VOA's Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to Vincent McCory. Well, thanks a lot, Sonny, and we have to say that was really close uh, for Paul Tergat. Oh, yeah, very should. lucky. Uh, I think Turgat is uh, breathing wow. a, a sigh of relief today. Most Vincent. sadly, we wish him well. We want to thank you very much, Sunny. And be sure, viewer, to watch for the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus.